Welcome to Toffee TV. I am joined by Rob Sloman, Graham Sharp, and Andy Gray. Uh, over the last few years, well, not over the last period of 10, 15 years, there's been a lot of football films out there. Mate, if you're thinking of Nottingham Forest, one I believe in Miracles, I've watched all sorts of Netflix documentaries. It's got loads of football DVDs, but there's never been one about, for me, the greatest club in the world, <laughs> and that is about to change. Rob? Why is it going to change? Well, one of the things that's <laughs> always troubled me, um, if, if, if a conversation comes up about the greatest English teams of all time, and football did exist before 1992, but if the, if the conversation comes up about those great English sides, Everton, 84-5, it's just never part of the conversation. It's not even somebody goes, oh, yeah, that team was pretty decent. It's never part of the conversation. And I, for so long, I've wanted to do something about that. And uh, we're now in a position where, where we can, and, and we're going to make a film. It's going to be called Howard's Way. And uh, with a little <laughs> bit of luck, it'll be out um, towards the end of this year. And uh, we'll try and give that team uh, a bit of credit. And, and all the guys are on board. Andy's been fantastic. I knew Andy from way back working together and uh, Andy's helped me one by one we got hold of the team and it snowballed from there everybody's on board I think everybody feels that that team didn't get enough credit and it's time to do something about it talking to people who were here who had, had witnessed big games in Europe before not necessarily Everton they thought that night of goodness that was the best atmosphere and I'm talking about lads who had followed up yeah. in Scotland Rangers and Celtic that, and, and they said that night here was the best they've ever experienced uh, and I just thought as a team we grew into it and we got stronger as the game went on. It's the best I've experienced. I've played in, well, mm. like you played in World Cups. Well, you chased Cups. Maradona for yes. 50 metres. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to get it. Somehow, I knew you were going to get that in. And then you, and then. But anyway, you did that. For me, as, a, as an Evertonian, it feels as though that team's almost slipped through the cracks when it should never have slipped. I mean, this is a, a team that, you know, won. The, the, the league twice in three years it won European trophy won FA Cups I mean Andy <clears throat> how important is it to be involved in something like this well when Rob called me as he says we've, we've known each other for some years now and he called me and said I've got an idea um, I'm, I want to put this together I'm a, because of his love of Everton as well he said I want to try and put this together and I thought I thought he was joking at first I thought well okay then it's just a supporter Never said loving, that. loving his stuff. You never said that. I did. I said that to myself. Oh. <laughs> it's a supporter loving him, loving his club, and I thought, yeah, I, I'm ha more than happy to help out because um, I don't know why. I mean, I, I, I think in I don't know why that that Everton team or that cycle of three years when when Everton, I think, were not the best team in England. They were the best team in Europe, but didn't get a chance to to show that they were the best team in Europe. Uh, maybe that's part of the reason that uh, it slipped through the net. What was going on then? The troubles with Europe, the ban, everything that went around that. Um, you know, it, it might have played a, played a part in, in this Everton mm -hmm. side not getting the recognition it deserved. But listen, we get together often, Graham, I, Reedy, and she, everybody, rats, everybody. We get together often, and and I, I, I really think if Rob pulls this off, and I hope he does, I really hope you do. Um, it would be a fitting tribute, not to us as footballers, but to the man who's not here, mm. and that's Howard himself. Because without a doubt, whether it was luck, judgment, combination of everything, I think he would probably, if he was sitting here now, say, I think it was a combination of, I was lucky, but I had talent as well, because you yeah. needed talent to be able to do what he did. Yeah. But it would be a fitting testimony um, for Rob to pull this together, and we could all say it was Howard's way. Graham, I mean, obviously, you know, played and now you work at the club as well. And you've seen the way Everton are. I mean, I'm probably going to sound biased, but we'll look that in the media. Sound it. Oh, we'll, Sound it. We'll, look, we'll look that. Sound we're, it. We're ignored <laughs> in the media, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you as a player and then seeing the way the teams fell away or, or the reputation of the clubs fell away, how important is it just to remind everyone that, you know, what we were, they are our standards yeah, and we were good? I think it's massive, not just just for Everton fans, the younger Everton fans, but you know the football football public in general. I think you know you can easily be forgotten about, but I think that team deserved a lot more recognition than, than what it actually got. You know, and Andy quite rightly said about the, the European ban and the, the team splits up. I don't think people realise 
what a fantastic team it was. Mm. You know, in difficult times in football, mm. but to 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 get the players on board and also to get you know Howard Kendall and, and tell people the story of you know how that team evolved and yeah. the players coming into it, I think it'll be it'll be fantastic. You know, to, to let people know because you go to the Everton games now and there's a lot of young fans and it's all about the young fans in the future and everything else. But I just think now you've just got to look and and remind them. You know where we were, what we were all about. You know what they have to try and emulate yeah. nowadays. Even yeah. even for for present day players, you know, yeah. who come over and probably yeah. don't know an awful lot about yeah. the history of the football club and what it means and what it means to the to, to Evertonians. You know, so I think it's, it will be fantastic, and it's uh, it's something we're really looking forward to. We've got Colin Harvey. He's going to come on board. He's going to do something for us as well. Excellent. And I know Colin was sort of historically important because of the, the evidence history and the Holy yeah. Trinity etc mm. which is which will be part of the film um, but also he was, he was a big part in a lot of the players careers back then wasn't he yeah he was he was uh, when I came down he was a reserve team coach so all the younger players on the team went through the reserves and went through calling everybody knew what a hard taskmaster he was and he had that instant respect from the players so these are stories that people probably don't know you know mm. and I think it'll be a, a great insight into into what was a fantastic team and a fantastic group of people. When, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a footballer and then wanted to play for Everton. And what you end up doing it, which is, it's your dream come true, and it? it's something you've, you've always wanted. And all of a sudden, there you are on the, the pitch there, in front of 60,000, playing football, watched by your dad and your granddad. We uh, really wanted it to be authentic to, to the to the time and what was going on, not just about the football club, but the the city, the politics, the music, the culture. Yeah. It was a, it was a big time. Um, people used to, the, the kids were coming out of school and they were saying it, it was pretty grim. It was difficult, mm -hmm. and obviously Liverpool were winning the the league and the European Cup in the same season, and so at least their fans had something every Saturday, yeah. Wednesday to to look forward to, etc. And Everton. That they didn't have that. It was a really difficult time to be an Everton fan. You know, just prior to when Howard came in, the seventies because sixties were were not bad. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a particularly dominant team in the sixties, but Everton were up there. Mm -hmm. And then the seventies were were pretty unkind. We were unlucky a couple of times, mm -hmm. very unlucky. And uh, and then Howard built something from you know from a fairly difficult starting position. And, and I. I think it's a great story and we'll try to tell it properly and the music will be a big part mm. of it. We've got Keith Mullen from the farm, he's looking after the school. Very good, you sure? I yeah. believe so. Um, <laughs> yeah, is that negotiable? You know, we've got Dave Feely who you know well on this show, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's involved. So we're going to try and do it right uh, and everybody from the squad's involved and, and I'm so excited about what we, could, what we could do. I mean for me it's a massively important story because people, it, it wasn't just about winning the league, the, the team we had to overcome in this city with the best team in Europe, yeah. Yeah. and not yeah. only did we overcome them in the city, we we, we went on and conquered. You were better than them. We yeah, we yeah. got better. And and when, when, when you look back at uh, when you look back at this, uh, if you think back to <coughs> October, November, nineteen eighty-three, hmm. Everton were probably fifth from bottom, sixth mm. from bottom. Mm. We were Possibly, struggling. Yeah, yeah struggling. really bad, we really bad. Flying. Yeah, no, yeah. I think so. You know, this is a story that's from you know from around about October, November, eighty-three. That Wasn't that when you got on the team? Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> I just, no. just come to me. Yeah. No, 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 no. What, what I'm trying to say is when, 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 when the film and, the, and if the, the working title becomes the title, Howard's yeah. Way, it will absolutely sum up what those years were, were all about. It was Howard's Way. He, he, he turned something that was broken and not working. Yeah. Um, almost overnight, as I've said, with, with, with great judgment, with some good fortune, I'm sure, um, into something that, if you were to tell an Evertonian tomorrow, do you know next season, because it would be like, where are, we, where are we sitting there? We're in March. Yeah, we're in March. Yeah. We're in March. If you were to say, you know, in nine months' time, we're going to be top of the league mm -hmm. uh, in the mm -hmm. final of the FA Cup, and we're going to win a European trophy, would you take that? You'd have no answer. <laughs> You'd literally have one of them, Andy. Well, there, there lies yeah. the, 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 the magnitude of what Howard well, did. And, yeah. and, and I'm, I, I could not be more pleased um, that Rob's decided to do this and put it together. I can't wait for the finished article. I really mm. can't. Mm. Because I think there will be, like, like Rob said, like many people have said, there are a lot of people around the country, younger ones, who Everton's mentioned yeah. in passing. 
Yeah, yeah. By the way, that team in the mid eighties, they were they were good. Yeah. No, they weren't good. They were very good. In yeah. fact they were better than very good. And we also think of Live Aid. We had to compete with Live Aid. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah. 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 We had to compete with yeah. Live Bloody Aid as well going on. When we were winning everything. That's right. You know, we're competing against all that sort of thing as well. But I just think it's an amazing story and I and I think it's one that, that should be told. Um, and I think it's one that will be told. And and I do think that, you know, not like the Damned United that I watched and, and, yeah. and, and the one you mentioned, I believe in Miracles, that was a fantastic one. I think this one will be received in that in that same vein. I think Howard deserves it. Yeah. And and with Colin and Mick Keaton. Mm -hmm. They put such a lot mm -hmm. into it as well. Um, I don't be a story worth telling. You, you, can't, you can't compare eras particularly, but you couldn't do... The, the, there'll be a lot of storytellers in this film, telling a lot of great stories. And, yeah. you know, if you have seen I Believe in Miracles, that the, the players' stories are, are the key to it. They're funny, yeah. they're silly. You can't believe some of the stuff that, that basically... <laughs> it's not that long ago, mm. but, you know, that they didn't have enough large pairs of shorts yeah. for, for, for the big backsides that they were in, were in the yes, team. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> tush, <laughs> big tush there. Yeah. Yeah. So no, the, it's, 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 it's incredible, you know, the modern day football fan won't believe, as, as Rob's quite said, what, how it went and how close we were as a team and how close we, we were and we bonded together and mm. Howard was, was instrumental in that and yeah. his style of management, would it happen nowadays? I don't think so, so I think mm. people will be surprised and especially looking at the way Liverpool was in those times yeah, and yeah. unemployment and so, excuse me, it'll be an absolute fantastic insight into the makers of, of what was a great team and also uh, a great city. Alcohol played a part, didn't it, Graham? No, allegedly? No, no, I didn't touch no. a drop there. No, it was. It's no. only when we finished. No, we never played a part in my game. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rob, just to, just to cap it off, then what are you, what are you, what are we hoping to get out of it? I mean, if the players receive, I know these two have yeah. everybody being quite Yeah, we've got in touch with uh, we got in touch with everybody. So um, one or two are slightly more difficult to, to get hold of than others. Yeah. But are they? Yeah, uh, name, name. Some of them. Uh, Tell me, I'll knock them out. You've got some on the other side of the yeah. 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 yeah, so we've got. Well, that's um, no excuse. Yeah, we've well got a couple, loved. but they're they're yeah. on board as well. So we'll get out there. We'll do that. Uh, Adrian's obviously in uh, Minnesota, so we'll, we'll get Who's Adrian as well. Yeah. Gary Stevens. And, and, and Mike Lyons, who can talk about the 70s as well. So, um, yeah, we're going to get to everybody, hopefully. And um, uh, I would like to think that um, come October, November, that we've yes. uh, we've, we've told the story pretty well. And how is it? it? I mean, what's, what's the plan? Availability and stuff, where will we be able to get it? Well, or is that still Okay, offered? a little bit TBC. But, okay. Um, oh, well, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. If you want to leave it at that, that's fine. But we would like to think. So, so when Forrest did uh, Miracles or, or when Johnny Owen made that film, yeah. um, the premiere was at the City Ground. Okay. I think they, they got three or four thousand into the city ground to watch it, and I'd love to do something like that at Goodison. Three or four thousand, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thirty or forty thousand yeah, at Goodison yeah. to watch yeah. it, surely? Yeah. Well, it's a jumbotron, Andy, you can only see one. So don't care, it's still filling. I thought they would see what you don't Four jumbotrons. The Evertonians will come there yeah. and just to hear it. Okay. And to uh, hear how it. Yes. So that's what we'd hope for. We can hope we could do something at Goodison, and it'd be fairly spectacular if we could do it. I mean, to me, I can't wait because you can't help, especially with what's going on now. You can't help but look back at those days when just it takes you back. You know, I've been a school kid going in and getting all kinds of stick because the other side were winning things, and then it all of a mm. sudden turned, and I was bouncing in on a Monday mm. with a big smile. Mm. It takes you back, um, and I think it'll be fantastic, and I can't wait. So we'll be monitoring this progress as we move along. Good luck, son. <laughs> Get it as we up. move along. Uh, but uh, there you go. Absolutely fantastic. Big thanks to Graham. Thank you, big thank thanks you. to Rob. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Thank you mate. Big thanks to Andy as well. Listen, look out for it. Howard's Way, it's going to be called. I'm quite sure there's, it's going to be on social media and everything. We'll certainly be pushing it all the way up until the launch. Make sure you get behind it. This is what our club stands for. None of this trying to stay up, none of this getting 40 <laughs> points. It's about winning stuff. These fellas done it. Rob's going to make it real. Get behind it. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.